A year ago, the Cowboys, it was pistols firing for the first 10 games of the season. That's right, they won all 10, and they had people in Stillwater thinking about college football playoff. Just two more games to go, and you got it. But then the defense absolutely faltered, and of course it was against you know, two terrific offenses, Baylor and Oklahoma. And then to make matters worse, the bowl game against Ole Miss, where Chad Kelly picked them apart, the last three games, OSU's defense gave up an average of 50 per contest, and the Cowboys lost their last three to close out 2015. Still, though, nice season for Mike Gundy's squad, double digits in victories, which in Stillwater, you know, doesn't happen all the time. Entering this year, their passing attack should again be lethal with Mason Rudolph now entering his junior year. He played um, pretty much every game last season. Of course, the Oklahoma game only played three plays because of injury, and he probably shouldn't even have been there for that many at all. Um, for that particular game. But otherwise, you know, he was flawless in 2015 with nearly 3,800 yards through the air, over 20 TD passes, and very limited in the interception department. So he's definitely accurate, and he'll look for his favorite target. That's James Washington, whom I expect will get more receptions, and I'll explain why in a second. Last year, it was quality, not quantity, that mattered for Washington, one of the best receivers in the country, and the only Big 12 receiver back that had at least 1,000 yards receiving a year ago. Only 53 catches a year ago for James, but over 1,000 yards receiving to go along with 10 touchdowns. Always a big play threat. That's James Washington. The biggest reason why I think he's going to get more um, passes thrown to him. Marcel Aitman's out for a while, okay? Aitman uh, had an injury over the summer, broken bone in the foot, so we may not see him to at least October. A big loss for Oklahoma State, but that does mean that Washington is going to draw more attention, but I still think Rudolph will try to find him more often. Washington's just too good of a talent to only get 53 catches. Now, running game has been a difficult area for Oklahoma State to figure out. This used to be tailback you. It used to never be a problem with the running game, but, um, you know, in recent years, it has been a bit of a handicap. Chris Carson's back, but Carson, you know, didn't really do a whole lot on the ground. If he's not careful, Barry J. Sanders will steal his spot. Now, remember J Barry J. from Stanford, um, you know, transferred from the Cardinal to Stillwater, I think large in part because of Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey's one of the best running backs in the country, ran for over 2,000 yards last year, and McCaffrey... Um, is one of the favorites to win the Heisman. So I think two reasons why you're seeing Barry J. Sanders in Stillwater. And let's just forget about the fact that his dad was a legend uh, for the Cowboys and won the school's only Heisman Trophy. Number one, obviously Barry J. Sanders was looking for an environmental change to leave Palo Alto and come closer to home. But number two, he knows that Oklahoma State has a major need at running back, and he could definitely help out in that regard. They'll run behind a veteran offensive line that has to get better as far as run blocking goes. Of course, you have Zach Crabtree at right tackle, Victor Seleko at the left tackle, and not to forget about um, you know other players there on the offensive line, including uh, Malcolm Wilson. So the offensive line for Oklahoma State, veteran-like, and if they have gotten better during the offseason, if things have gone well during practice and stay healthy, then maybe Oklahoma State could be that two-dimensional attack offensively, and if that's the case, it's going to be hard for anybody in the country to stop him. One good thing about Oklahoma State's defense last year was that they forced turnovers. Glenn Spencer's D had a takeaway margin of plus 13. Pretty good. One of the tops in the country. Biggest reason for that was because of pressure from the outside that both Jimmy Bean and Emmanuel Ogbaugh, a high NFL draft pick, provided. But both are, of course, now departed. So, Defensive end, I think, is going to be the biggest key for this team in order to try to keep the turnover ratio high in favor of the Cowboys. And remember, they had 40 sacks a year ago, tops in the Big 12. So now you have guys like uh, Jarrell Owens, who will have to be very productive from the defensive end spot. He'll be one to watch this year. Defensive tackle solidified there with Vincent Taylor, as well as Modakaya Miley couple of veterans on that uh, defensive line occupying the tackle position. So run game, as far as run defense, um, should be an improvement. Wasn't all there last year, though. Linebacking core, very experienced. You've got uh, Chad Whitener back, a junior, and also two in Jordan Burden. And look for a guy that saw some action last year, now a new starter in Devontae Everette, a senior. Now, secondary, experience big time, especially the safeties. Maybe the best athlete on the team in Jordan Stearns whom a year ago, despite playing safety, triple digits as far as tackles for the year, 108, and he's complimented by another safety in Trey Flowers, who had over 80 tackles. Corner, Ashton Lankham, he comes back for the pokes. Breaking down the Cowboys' schedule, there's good and there's some bad. First, the good, the only real non-conference game that could be of some difficulty 
is against Pittsburgh. That's in late September, but at least the Cowboys get that game at Boone Pickens Stadium. Now for the bad part of the schedule. Last year, you might remember that the Cowboys hosted Kansas State, my Sooners, Baylor, and TCU. This year, though, all four of those games are away from Stillwater. So that could be a big-time challenge for the Cowboys to try to get back to a double-digit winning season. I'm not sure if the addition of Barry J. Sanders solves all for the Cowboy running game, but having him now in the squad does not hurt, and the passing game should again have a fine season. But defensively, getting pressure on the quarterback will be a big challenge with the loss of the defensive ends, and it'll be hard to duplicate that plus 13 turnover ratio. Cowboys will be good, but I've got them winning nine this season. That's my look at the Cowboys. Take care.